Capital Gains Tax Simplified. Let's take a short quiz. What are the taxes you remit as an individual or a company when you sell your personal generator to a buyer on a contractual basis? You probably made mention of withholding tax, WHT, and value-added tax, VAT, which are both correct. But there is one more tax you might not have mentioned, capital gains tax, CGT. Today, we'll discuss what CGT is, what assets qualify for CGT, who pays CGT and the percentage charged? What is capital gains tax? Capital gains tax is charged on the gains arising from disposal of the chargeable assets. So, if company A buys a generator for day-to-day -day use, a generator is an example of a chargeable asset for 5 million naira and later sells it for 6 million naira. Capital gains tax is charged on the gains of 1 million naira. What are chargeable assets? Chargeable assets are assets owned by a legal entity, either by creation or acquisition, and later disposed. These assets are not part of the entity's inventory, so they are not items purchased to be resold by the business. They are part of the assets for use. However, circumstances may arise that lead to selling these assets and gains received from such sales, if any, will be subject to CGT. Chargeable assets include jewelry, buildings, land, patent rights, shares, copyrights, foreign currencies, stocks, debts, cars, etc. Some assets which are in chargeable to CGT when disposed are gifts, Nigerian currency, Nigerian government securities such as treasury bills and treasury bonds, private residence, gains received in form of retirement benefits, life insurance policies, personal injury gratuities and loss of office below 10 million naira, and personal property sold below 1,000 naira. These assets, which are chargeable and non-chargeable to CGT, are listed in the Capital Gains Tax Act. The assets mentioned previously are listed in the Act as of 30th March 2020. Is it expected that everyone who disposes a chargeable asset pays capital gains tax? No. The CGT Act states those that are exempted from paying CGT. Some of them are religious bodies like churches and mosques, NGOs, educational institutions like secondary schools and universities, statutory bodies, cooperative society registered under the cooperative society law, and trade unions registered under the Trade Union Act. Who pays CGT? Everyone not listed in the CGT Act as exempt pays CGT. What is the CGT rate? The statutory percentage of CGT is 10% of the gain. Remember Company A? They purchased a generator for their day-to-day -day use for 5 million naira. They then sold it at 6 million naira. This means they made 1 million naira. This is their capital gain. The 1 million will be subject to 10% CGT, which is 100,000 naira. This is what would be remitted to the relevant tax authority. Rollover relief. Capital gains can be rolled over in cases where the capital gained is reinvested in a similar asset. Let's say company A sold the generator purchased at 5 million naira for 6 million naira. They then decided to buy a new one for 2 million naira. They would no longer need to pay the CGT on their initial capital gain of 1 million naira as it is assumed to have been rolled over into the similar assets procured with the capital gain. However, if the new generator is being sold later, the purchase price will be calculated as the amount paid for the generator, which is 2 million naira in this case, less the capital gain from the sale of the previous generator, which is 1 million rolled over. Hence, the cost price of the new generator will be 1 million when calculating the CGT. 